Hey guys, welcome to another installment of how to put the razor back together. So today we got the three pieces of plastic uh, fender uh, and the rear fascia, you know, with the tail lights in it. That uh, they all got a little damaged from the rollover. And uh, if you guys want to know more about that, uh, I'll leave a little uh, tab right here to go check it out. And uh, I'll leave a link at the very end of the video to where you hear the whole story. But at any rate, the um, last video was changing the uh, rear trailing arms from Super ATV. That's a pretty cool uh, swap out right there. And now it's time to put everything back together. So after doing some plastic welding, which uh, I did have another video right here for that, um, it's ready to go back together. I wanted to finish the trailing arms first so that they were out of the way. And uh, now I can go ahead and uh, get the necessary clips and everything together and put the plastic back on. So anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, we had uh, that piece right there, which kind of should go there. Um, we had this other uh, black piece right here that, uh, you know, kind of goes there. Sense. And then the fascia, the rear fascia that's got the taillights in it as well. Now, to look on the other side, you can kind of see where that goes. Um, there's that uh, gray one right there. There's that black one right there. And obviously the fascia ain't there right now, but it will be soon. First off, get yourself a ton of these uh, push pin rivets. Guys, uh, you know, I got this here pack of uh, 50, but they're cheap. Uh, you're gonna wanna replace any of them that were really stressed out and, or lost or uh, ripped away. So uh, get some of them. Harder to find, but I eventually found it with help from uh, my friend Paul, are these little metal tabs and um, I had to go and find a uh, specific part number. It turns out they're dash uh, clips, just dashboard clips. Uh, they seem to be universal, not specifically a side-by-side -side part, but they are metal. Uh, I lost a couple on that uh, gray body panel uh, and hopefully they'll fit. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, put those clips on. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with this uh, gray trim. Now this little bit right here uh, came off and I uh, used uh, that plastic welder I got from Harbor Freight, $20 pl plastic welder, but you know, it, it worked uh, perfectly fine. The uh, steel mesh that comes with it, I embedded in the plastic on both sides and it ended up being uh, pretty firm, guys. And um, I took a, a, one of the existing OEM clips and off another spot and just put it on here to make sure that it still fit and it does. And so let me show you the two clips. They're essentially very close to looking the same. So let's go ahead and see if it fits on here. And it does. Okay, not bad, you know, it's a little sideways, but that's okay. Um, I think that's going to work fine um, compared to the OEM. Uh, it's just a different color, but uh, it's essentially the same. So guys, uh, I took the door off really quick. Uh, it's going to make uh, lining up these tabs a whole lot easier. And I want to point out that those metal tabs uh, with plastic uh, go right in these little slots. This one kind of has a guiding tab with that slot as well. And you're going to see a couple more up here. So just make sure you get them lined up really well.
All right, now it's time for the black uh, fender splash guard. Now, uh, I didn't lose any of these uh, these metal uh, you know, threaded uh, tabs, but if you do, get yourself a bag. And also there's a fender support brace that has its own uh, one of those screws, and uh, that's gonna go up under here, and that's gonna help, uh, obviously, with the rear fascia uh, holding that steady. Alright guys, there we go. I uh, got all the plastic back on this uh, thing right here. I'm going to change its name to Battle Axe because it's starting to show signs of doing battle out there on the trail. So it's pretty straightforward. You know, I didn't do a video of taking all the plastic off, but uh, I think the relevant is putting it back on. A couple brackets need to be bent back, and I used all new plastic uh, hot rivets. Um, it's an easy way to go, make sure they're good quality. Uh, and then the little bit of uh, plastic welding that I need to do. You know, you could take a uh, light sanding to this, uh, and knock it up pretty good, and then get some pledge and it'll be just fine. So I'm not going to do the wiring on the tail lights just yet. On the next video, I've got a bit of a surprise to spruce up that back end a little bit, and I'm going to hold off until the next video, guys. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you out there on the trail.